All right, let's together calculate the root mean square speed for xenon atoms at 298K. Now, root mean square speed is one way we can measure how fast the xenon atoms are traveling. It's important to remember that some of the xenon atoms will be traveling slowly, some of them will be traveling quickly, and on average, they'll be traveling, I don't know, something in the middle. VRMS, or root mean square speed, is not a literal average of all the velocities of the xenon atoms. It is just one way that we can measure an approximate average, and it comes from the kinetic energy that we know the molecules or atoms have. Okay, now you can calculate the root mean square speed in meters per second if you use 8.314 for R, because that's in joules per mole Kelvin. You have to use the Kelvin temperature for T, and you need the molar mass in moles per kilogram. The kilogram is needed here to cancel out with kilograms as part of joules, and the square root here helps us convert meters squared over seconds squared into regular meters per second. Now, I've actually uh, tried this video a couple times, and I've already plugged in the 3, the 8.314, and the 298, but I forgot what the atomic mass of xenon was, so I went and looked it up. It was 131.3 grams per mole. Now, that, oh, oh, kilograms per mole. Wow, that would have been just uh, catastrophic if I plugged that in the wrong way. Anyways, so if one mole of xenon weighs 131.3 grams, that's equivalent to 0.1313 kilograms. I got that by dividing by a thousand. So the molar mass that I put in here is 0.1313. Again, that is in kilograms per mole, not moles per kilogram. That would have been wrong. Uh, the kilograms still cancel out the same way I told you that they did. And we have three times 8.314 times 298 divided by 0.1313. Then I need to take the square root of that answer. And I end up with 238 meters per second. The higher your temperature, the faster your speeds should be. And the lower your temperature, the slower the speeds should be. Gas molecules in general are traveling very, very, very fast. Uh, the reason gases don't actually move anywhere is because they're usually trapped in a container. <laughs> um, and uh, long story short, this is about what I expect. If I get an answer between 200 and 400 for a root mean square speed, I'm generally happy. Okay? That's the calculation. Sorry about that. Make sure it's kilograms per mole, and best of luck.